How's it going, my hexakins? On my way to the Cardano community meetup in downtown Austin. Let me know what y'all think. It should be a fun time. And if any of you hexakins are down here, let me know. I tweeted out. So let me know if you want to come meet up. Hey, check out this artwork, hexakins. Look at this. So I'm just leaving the Cardano community at Consensus. It was fucking dope. Anybody who could have came, should have came. Yeah, it's not Hex, it's not Pulse Chain, but hey, look, I'm pro crypto, okay? And I support anything that's crypto related. So I came to the Cardano. Cardano was one of the first projects I got into. I still like the project. Even though it's not Hex, I really enjoy Cardano still. Got to meet Charles Hoskinson, that was dope. I got to ask him, what it would take for him to do an interview with Richard Hart. And I also asked him what it would take to get a pulse chain to Cardano bridge going on. And what he said is that Richard's got to stop twerking. So Richard, I don't know if you're hearing this, but stop twerking and maybe we can get you an interview with Charles Hoskinson so we can advertise and get Pex and pulse chain and pulse X out to some of the Cardano community. Let me know what you think, Rich. All right. So a lot of you have been asking where I've been, why I'm not making videos, blah, 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 right? Well, well, to fill all you beautiful hexagons in, I decided to take a position in Texas, in Austin, Texas, as the VP of a small dental startup. As I'm sure you're aware, that takes up a big chunk of my time because we are a startup. That being said, I still plan on making hex content, hex videos, and it's not just about Hex, Pulse Chain, and Pulse X, those are my favorite assets, of course. But I'm pro crypto, man, and I'll support. If there's a crypto convention in Austin, shit, I'll go to it. I don't care. I just like crypto. Crypto is fundamental. Crypto is it's a new way of transacting, right? And so this whole consensus thing this weekend, I'm gonna try to make it out to consensus as well because there's a lot of really interesting people. I like networking. I enjoy meeting new people and it's just a, gonna be a good time. So with that being said, even though that my favorite assets are Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, et cetera, et cetera, and I make mainly make content for Hex, Pulse Chain and Pulse X, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm against uh, or you know have any sort of uh, tribalism, right? I believe in decentralization to a certain degree, although with Hex, it's it can be a little bit different, right? Because you know, Hex is not necessarily decentralized. The the OA wallet has a lot of the Hex, right? But but for in general, I believe crypto is sovereignty. It's freedom. It's the ability to not have middlemen. It's the ability to transact peer to peer. It's the ability to develop dApps, right? And to develop new technology that will better the world, right? It's not just about one crypto. Wow, there is a beautiful woman right there. Oh boy. And yes, uh, look, if you see that, there's a fridge in my in, my, in the back of my car. So anyway, but that is kind of an update on me. That's why y'all haven't seen a video in a little while is because I have been moving first off. I took a little vacation in Hawaii for a little bit, then moved from, after I took my vacation in Hawaii, I moved to Austin, Texas from Seattle and I drove. So it was a little bit of a little bit of a time and now, Again, because I'm now the VP of a dental company uh, that demands a lot of my time, I'm working, you know, 10, 10 hour, 12 hour days every single day. It's difficult to find time even to go to the gym. I have, I have barely even had time to go to the gym. And as you know, Crypto Fitness, it's my channel, the name of my channel. You know, I've been getting small workouts in in the morning. I do this program called X3. It's a new way to work out. Um, there's science behind it. You can check it out. It's pretty cool, but uh, I'm not quite sold on the idea yet even though i've been using x3 i'm not quite sold on it yet and the philosophy behind it so i'm trying it out to see how 
if I can, you know, maintain the gains that I've made over the last couple of years and not lose anything. Uh, and I still, it, you know, I can get the workout done in about 10 minutes and then I head straight to work right after that. So that is the reason why y'all haven't seen hex content lately and pulse chain content. Not to mention there's been a shitload of drama and just negativity. It's the bear market, the bear market blues. And there's just a lot of negativity that goes around in the, in the really crypto markets in general. And I just, I'm not about that life. I live my life to what I can control. I can't control the markets. I can't control negativity, other people's negativity. I can't control, I choose not to gossip and I choose not to have any sort of drama in my life. My life is a drama free zone. And if y'all wanna bitch and complain and moan about price or about shit that goes on in a hex or like just beef between different YouTubers and stuff, I've seen some of that going on. Like, and I just choose not to pay attention to any of it because my life is a drama free zone. And that's why I've kind of just been chilling uh taking my time making videos getting back to it but that being said i will be getting back to it and it will happen soon and there will be more content especially once pulse chain actually launches there will be lots of content to come i will do lots of videos on the snowball strategy the j strategy with hedron and uh i even have a little bit of maxi so uh not to say you know i'm just it's kind of like gambling for me it's like look i'm just gonna put a little bit here if it does great great if it doesn't do great you know what i didn't put enough to sweat it and uh most of my bags are hex pulse chain and pulse x so that being said that that is an update on me and hope y'all are fucking staying savage peace